major focus of the research that I'm involved in are emerging infectious disease in uh, pigs. And as we all know, infectious diseases don't recognize borders or boundaries, and so many of the disease problems that we study are emerging not only here in the U.S., but are uh, worldwide. And so we spend a lot of our time uh, not only here in the U.S., but in other countries, uh, working with other scientists uh, to uh, solve some of the same problems. We function at mo many different levels on the animal health side, on the human side, and I would hope that the, our diagnostic and research efforts go to make better vaccines for more efficient uh, food production, uh, to have a better understanding of the different agents that circulate out in the field and how they relate to human disease and look at control strategies to reduce the disease load, uh, either through management or through active uh, development of diagnostic tools, herd profiling, things like that, uh, and you know, ultimately maybe vaccines. An emerging area of interest is in the genetics of host resistance. Uh, in the case of PERS, recognizing that we don't have perfect uh, diagnostics and perfect vaccines, then we look to the genetics of host resistance. And everybody knows that the human genome has been sequenced, uh, the pig genome has been sequenced, so now we are looking for uh, genes that might help us breed animals in the future that, number one, would be more resistant uh, to the virus, but also avoid traits that might uh, generate sensitivity uh, to the virus. And so I uh, am co-director of a large uh, international project that is uh, examining the uh, genetics of host resistance. Uh, this is really the first of its kind project in any animal uh, disease area, and we've put together a very large uh, consortium. A lot of the work here, a lot of the experimental work is done here at K-State. And then we have several collaborators uh, throughout the United States who uh, work on various aspects of the project. So what we are doing with PERS is we're really setting the stage for a lot of research that's going to be done in animal infectious diseases uh, in the future.